Hi. Um, so this is Claire. Uh, and today I'm going to teach you how to make one of these guys. Um, I didn't make this myself. I bought this at American Apparel. Um, but it's a scrunchie. And this one's velvet. Uh, and I don't have velvet. I have, um, I have this lovely material right here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to teach you how to sew one. Uh, I apologize for two things. One, my lovely appearance today. I don't know if you can hear my voice, but I am sick. So I didn't go to the trouble to putting on makeup or, you know, having any slight attractiveness today. But you're just going to have to deal with it. Second of all, I also apologize for the quality of this video because my camera is kind of a bitch and I don't feel like fixing it. So I'm just using my laptop. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need to do first is you're going to have to... Um, Find some things to make your scrunchie out of, and the first thing you're going to need is some elastic, as so. Um, you can really have it in any color you want, um, but it depends what fabric you use. Let's just say if you have, like, white fabric, you shouldn't use a black one because then you'll be able to see it through unless you want to, whatever. Just keep that in mind if you're going to buy some. Um, and I just had this in my house. I think it's like probably three-fourths of an inch. Um, don't make it any more than an inch because, as you can see here, uh, that's, that's probably, you know, that's probably what it is. Um, and, uh, I probably got this at Mood. Um, if you live in New York City, that's a great place to go. Uh, there's also, like, in Midtown, around 6th and 7th Avenue, a lot of cheap little stores around places and then also you know places like Michael's and stuff like that if you don't live in New York City yeah and then second ingredient is your fabric and you want something that's like soft um and flexible and not you know leather or something like that um so yeah this is like silky it's not silk but it's silky uh, I don't really know what it is um, and then you want some scissors. I, uh, recommend that you use fabric scissors. These aren't fabric scissors because I lost my fabric scissors. My fabric scissors. Blech. Um, but, yeah, these should be fine. Um, but fabric scissors are always just better because they're for fabric and that's what you're cutting. So, yeah. And then also, um, you need either... A sewing machine or um, thread a needle and you're gonna want the thread to be the same color or blend in with the fabric you know so that it looks neater um, I'm just gonna use my sewing machine because I like to make clothes and I'm good at using my sewing machine and it's easier for me but if you don't have a sewing machine which I bet a lot of you don't then you can just use thread and needle, which are very cheap and very easy to use. Um, my my hand sewing isn't very good, so I'm not going to do that. But it's very easy, and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so step one is you're going to take your um, elastic, and I don't know, this is just scrap. I don't know why it's cut this like this. But um, you're going to put it around your wrist. And you should probably leave a little bit of flexibility, whatnot. Um, so, like, an inch, you see, an inch or so of flexibility, uh, just so that, you know, whatever. Um, and usually, uh, that's a good way to measure it, because if it fits on your wrist, then, I mean, I don't know, I have all the hair, I don't know how much hair you have, whatever. Just do it on your wrist so that it looks cute on your wrist. And then you're going to cut it with the scissors. Like so. Ta -da. 
Okay, so once you measure that, um, you're going to take that length, which is, for me, 7 inches, um, and you're going to multiply it by 3, and that's going to be the length of your piece of fabric, and then um, you're going to take 4 inches, and that's going to be the width of your fabric. Um, so, yeah, and that's how it's going to get scrunchy. Okay, so um, after you cut it, you're going to sew just like this, um, basically like a little tube, um, and you're going to want to make it inside out when you sew it, like this, um, so this is the wrong side of the fabric, so you do right side to right side, you fold it in half, um, hot dog style, and then you just sew right across, I did a really sucky job, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be in the inside. Slight change of location, um, because it was really loud outside in the other room. Um, but once you sew it, um, you're going to flip it inside out so that you can't see the stitching and you can't see the bad side. Um, and this is the good side of the fabric and it looks all neat and stuff. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your, oh crap, this isn't right. You're going to take your elastic, the right piece of elastic, not the scrap, um, and you're going to begin putting the two pieces together. Uh, how you're going to do that is you're going to take a safety pin, which I'm going to get, and you're going, you know, the bigger the better, uh, this is pretty big, um, and you're going to put it on the end, one end of your elastic, and just, you know, button it up. This is just for, because it's helpful. Um, and you're going to just stick it right into the end of your little tube fabric thing and then inch it through the fabric and wh what's helpful about the uh, metal safety pin is that you know it just makes it easier to find it in the fabric while you're doing that since the elastic is shorter much shorter than the fabric, um, it's going to, the one, the other end is going to disappear into the fabric, so what you want to do is once you get the elastic, uh, all the way through up until the end, you're going to, on the other end, you're also going to take another safety pin, and you're going to, uh, safety pin it to the end, so just like that. I don't know if you can see, there you go. Just like that. So that you don't lose it. And then once you keep on going with the other end uh, through it, you're gonna see that it starts to scrunch up. Um, yeah, and just continue doing that. Once it's um, gone all the way through, uh, the fabric slash elastic thing is going to look just like this. And it looks kind of like a scrunchie if you put it in a loop, which it will be in eventually. Um, so you, what you're going to do is, once you finish that, you're just going to safety pin the other end to the other end of the fabric. And then um, you're going to sew each end of elastic to each end of fabric. So I'm going to go do that now. So if you did everything correctly, um, you should have this right here, uh, and as you can see, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm going to cut all this stuff off, but it's sewn on both ends, and it's, you can just go like this, fun, uh, and so the final step is going to be taking each end and just sewing them together, uh, you know, like, so that it makes a circle, <laughs> um, it's pretty self-explanatory, and then you're gonna trim all the little loose ends and stuff, and here's the final product, um, and as you can see, it looks like a scrunchie, it, uh, flexes like a scrunchie, and you can, you know, wear it on your wrist, or, of course, you can put your hair up with it, so I will do it. And, you know, there are many variations to this uh, 
little craft project. Um, you can use lots of different types of fabric, lots of different types of elastics. You can make them wider or uh, shorter or whatever. See, with my hair pretty well. Um, and yeah, there are also other techniques of doing it, um, but this just seemed like the most simple. Uh, I needed the least materials, um, but there are definitely other ways to do it that may actually be neater. Um, so if you're interested in, in those, then just comment hello, and uh, next time I'm sick and bored out of my mind, I will make a video for you. Thank you so much for watching, and follow us on Instagram and Tumblr and subscribe, I think it's right there, and uh, comment and like, and thank you so much. Okay, bye.